Oh, I saw one. Oh, is it slimy? Is it a slimy? Did we get a salamander? Oh, yes! Yeah! As the weather begins slowly warming up here in North Carolina, reptiles and amphibians will be just starting to come out of their winter brumations. First among these are woodland salamander species, some of my absolute favorite animals to find in early spring. So, as soon as the weather was favorable for salamander hunting, I headed out to the forest and began flipping logs. And flipped, and flipped, and flip. All oh, this is really good for salamanders. I'm just gonna walk all the way down the log. I do see some millipedes, more salamander snacks, but still no salamanders. It's really weird. Very few out right now. It is about 70 degrees. It's perfect weather for them, so we'll keep looking. After almost two hours of fruitless searching, I was beginning to give up hope. All right, this is a really good salamander area right here. Wow. Oh, I saw one. Oh, is it slimy? Is it slimy? Did we get a salamander? Oh, yes! Yeah! Our first salamander of the year! That's awesome! Wow! Hey, wow! What a gorgeous... Gorgeous slimy salamander. Look at that, guys. Wow. Yes. Wow. We've been looking for hours. This is great. All right, guys, now spotted salamanders are one of the most common woodland varieties that we have here in North Carolina. Uh, you can find them all across the state, from the mountains to the coastal plains, and of course here in the Piedmont where we are. Now, I am so excited. That this was the first salamander that we found today, and I think mosquitoes are biting me. Yep. Hang on. This gorgeous animal right here is an extremely important part of the wooden leaf ecosystem. So slimy salamanders eat insects, so like under these logs, there's actually enough water and moisture for mosquitoes to breed, which is why I'm gonna get eaten alive by mosquitoes right now, because under these logs, there's actually mosquitoes. But these guys do eat those little mosquito larvae and pupa, and uh, they also eat all kinds of different invertebrates under the log. Now salamanders also, are food for many animals. Of course, they're like little protein snacks. So a slimy salamander like this would be food for a larger salamander, perhaps, such as a spotted salamander, or a bird, or of course something like a snake. A ring neck snake would love to eat this slimy salamander. All right, everyone. Now, slimy salamanders are also considered an indicator species. So what that means is that when researchers are out here trying to assess the health of a forest ecosystem, they will look at populations of slimy salamanders. And that is because they are extremely sensitive organisms. So slimy salamanders have very permeable skin. Uh, they actually breathe through their skin, and their skin regulates a lot of their bodily functions. So if there's any kind of pollutant in the ecosystem, or if the ecosystem is not stable, it's going to be very hard to find any slimy salamanders. So researchers will look at population numbers of these and population densities of slimy salamanders to determine how healthy the overall ecosystem is. Now I think that slimy salamanders are one of the cutest salamanders ever. They have these little toes. I don't know what it is. They're just adorable. They have little innocent looking faces. And of course they, they are, like all salamanders, very smooth looking. So I think they're pretty adorable animals. The last thing I want to leave you with as we talk about the slimy salamander is how they got their name. Now, of course, all amphibians do have some kind of mucous membrane that coats their skin, but slimy salamanders have a very, very sticky mucous membrane on their skin. And so what that will do is kind of deter predators. So if something grabs it, it gets that sticky taste in its mouth because often these are preyed on by smaller predators like birds, larger salamanders, or ringneck snakes. And that slime does really interfere with their ability to eat these salamanders. But this is a beautiful animal, guys. If you ever do find these in the wild, uh, please put them back under their log because they are an extremely important part of the ecosystem. So what we're going to do is just move these leaves over a little bit. Actually, Bryce, if you want to come over and look down, you see how moist that is? Can you, yeah. tell, can you tell on camera how moist that is right there? Oh, yeah. Isn't that great? Let's put them right down there. 
he likes that moist leaves, he's gonna go right under that log. Ready? There he goes. Well, everyone, I hope that you enjoyed today's episode and learned something new about the slimy salamander. Now that spring is finally starting to arrive, more animals will be moving around, and I have some really cool plans for filming over the next few months. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and click the bell for post notifications. I'll see you on the next adventure. This has been Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.